Hello everyone, I am Bill. Hello Seabass. We're back for another battle report. This is Grimdark Future version 2.7 tonight. Gonna debut my Tau Coalition army. These guys were an eBay rescue that I stripped and then speed painted. They're pretty much done. You are gonna be playing my Robot, Robot Legion. Legion. Yeah, which is normally my main. Uh, so enjoy them, take mm -hmm. care of them. Definitely will. As usual, couple house rules. We're splicing on our own victory conditions. We're using our objective cards. If you wanna make your own, you can download them in the video description below. And at the end of turn four, we will roll in on a, what should we say, four up or a five up? Four up's good. Four up, so 50% chance that we will have a turn five. Okay, I'm gonna let you say it. All right, let's check out the armies. For those of you new to these battle reports, we play Grimdark Future, which is a simple, fast-playing, fan-made rule set inspired by Warhammer 40k. The rules and army lists are totally free, and there's links in the video description below. On one side is 4,000 points of Tau Coalition. First up, I've got two spotter squads, five models each, equipped with spotting lasers, and I'm sure that that's all they're going to be using. These are the only models in my army that have spotting lasers. Two grunt squads doubled up, so 10 models each, and given pulse rifles. Jackals, two squads of five each, not combined into one large squad. That's to give me options, and their objective is going to be to take out the Technomancers. Another spotter squad without lasers, but given some better weapons. This was literally just to fill out points because I had finished the rest of the army. Three battle suits, one unit. They do have a shield drone, and although they're bristling with weapons, they only have three wounds apiece, so that's a lot of points tied up with not a lot of toughness. A heavy battle suit, I had to use this. Also bristling with weapons, taste the rainbow. And then the big guy, codename Tons of Fun, the Surge Titan. This guy's been kicking my butt for a few months now, but I finally finished painting him. So there was no way I was not gonna use it in this list. Heavy pulse cannon, cluster rockets, twin frag pod, stomp. Taste the rainbow. I love it. For the leadership of this army, two grunt captains. These will be paired with the two grunt squads so that they get volley fire. However, they themselves equipped with just pulse shotguns, not rifles. And then two battlesuit captains, each their own unit. They are identical despite the models being different. And I fully intend to use them as harassment or drop-in for objective claiming, that sort of thing. Again, lots of weapons, but only three wounds each. So that's Tau Coalition. Now let's look at the other side. About 4,000 points of Robot Legions. First, two units of 10 each Eternals, and they've been upgraded to Flux Rifles, because I think quantity is going to be more important than quality against the uh, Squishy Tau Coalition. And a double-sized unit of 10 Guardians, Fearless, Regeneration, and Stealth. Uh, at full strength, that's 20 dice rolling with rending, so the idea is they will carve up whatever they get close to. The problem will be getting close in the first place. To fill out the army list, I had extra points, so I threw some bot swarms in just to get up to 39.65. A spider walker. Fear, fearless, strider, regeneration. Been given the heavy gauss cannon. Likely, he will be working on the surge titan. A nanobot Wraith Shard. This is a hero. 12 wounds. Has been heavily modified since the last time I used this model in a battle report. Very different, so I'm really curious to see how it plays out. It's treated as a psychic now. And a Death Fortress. Transport 21. So it will be carrying stuff at the beginning of the game. We're kind of going to do a narrative thing. Four Gauss machine guns and a heavy antimatter cannon. And it can ambush to boot. Two Technomancers, which are identical despite the models being different. Each of these will be paired with an Eternals unit to give them regen protocol. So all of them are regening on a four up instead of a five up. Flavor wise, kind of the thing that robot legions do. There we have it. Let's go to the table. 
Here's the table for tonight. Fairly plain, it's a desert planet, but there's a new mineral type that's been discovered and it'd be very advantageous for both of us to get a hold of it. So we're going down to see who's gonna claim this neutral planet. Terrain, these things are considered terrain. So if you are a majority of the unit on it and it's an infantry type model, then we'll have cover. Uh, and then of course, as always, if half the unit is obscured, it gets cover. These are difficult terrain. So these piles of rocks, no more than six inches when you're going through those, regardless of the movement that you're trying to do. So that's pretty much it terrain wise. Wanted to keep this one simple. Look for the shooting lanes, slow down the charges, make every decision important. Let's get some objective markers out there. Markers are down, robot legions are teleporting in. There's one here, one there, there, up on this fountain here, down here in this alley, and over here. And the number of crystals tells us which marker it is. That's marker number one, that is marker number five, for example. One other thing, the crystals here, these are aesthetic, so move them out of the way if you need to, just like we used to handle fences on the other tables. And other victory conditions, ways to get victory points. Per first person to kill a unit will get a point. Uh, the first, if you end the game with at least one unit wholly within the other guy's deployment zone, you'll get a point at that time. And each of us is going to nominate one model as our leader, and if you slay the other guy's leader, you get a point. Who are you going to nominate? Wraith will be my option. Okay, Nanobot Wraith Shard, that's your leader. I am choosing this guy, the heavy battle suit. He will be my leader. So, kill those, you get a point. Okay, let's see who's gonna pick the table edge. I got a four, you got a five. Which side do you want? I will stay true to this side. Really? Yes. Okay, you're a sportsman, sir. I appreciate that, because all the markers are biased over here. <laughs> so, all right, uh, you must have a method to your madness. I'm curious to see it. So we're gonna deploy. You're gonna put a unit out first, and then I'll go. We'll be back in just a sec. Very cool. Deployment is done, and then I had some scout moves. A lot of them, actually. Now, in reserve, I am ambushing in with my battle suits and one of my battle suit captains. You are ambushing in your death fortress, and it is preloaded with this unit of 10 Eternals with a Technomancer, so that's one unit of 11 models, and then this unit of 10 Guardians. So this thing will drop in, I'm guessing, in round two. As for the board, I've got my snipers here, training on that Technomancer. Gotta get that four up regen gone. More snipers here, so in the first round, they hopefully will be able to get that job done. Spotter squad here, spotter squad here. So they've got the spotting lasers, and they will be trying to, I think, I'm gonna try and make him more vulnerable. Other than that, we're pretty much ready to go. There's the big guys, there is my nominated leader right there. And then, and then these two units with the pulse rifles, 30 inch range, and each of them is grouped with a hero. So that's the grunt captain. So with volley fire, if they don't move, if they use the hold action, they get to add one dice to their shot. So they're doubling the number of shots that they're rolling for shooting, if they don't move. All right, you ready? Ready. Top around one, let's see what our orders are. I need to seize marker two. I need to have you fail a morale test, or ideally more than one. And then I need to have at least one unit within your deployment zone to get victory points. You need to have me fail a morale test. You need to ensure that there's no enemy models within six inches of the center of the battlefield, which is not the case right now. And then you need to control marker two at the beginning and end of the same round. Where is marker two? Here it is, marker two right down here in Death Alley toward the center of the table. That's our objectives. You finish deploying first, so you get to activate first, and let's have it. Yep, so he wants to preempt this assassination attempt. He's doing a little bit of shifting there, easily within the four inches. So now the Technomancer is within 12 inches for his weapon. Everyone else is within range, yep. and I think you're about to fire upon these guys. Yeah, so they're in cover, minus one to hit. So hitting on fours. That's hitting on fours. Four hits, armor piercing. Armor piercing one. Saving on sixes, but you always succeed on a six, so even though I need sevens, it's still sixes. And none of them, so four of them straight up die. All right. Okay, and then the Technomancer. Yep. One shot, hitting on four. Does? 
Saving on a six. Does not. Good. Alpha striked. And you get a victory point. That's first blood. This spotter squad is going to use all five spotting lasers. Now these are not shooting attacks. It's a special ability, so cover doesn't matter. Two of them are putting lasers on that unit. The other three are putting the lasers on that spider. Let's do the spider first. On a four up, we get markers. Two markers on the spider, and then over there, we're gonna roll two, and one marker, good. And one marker on them. The heavy Gauss cannon. Okay, spider walker shifted over, now firing the heavy Gauss cannon at the big guy. So let's have it. Two, oh, goes wide. Coming on over to here. These marksmen are gonna fire down in there. Now they hit on a quality two plus because they're snipers. They are in cover, so it's minus one to hit, but I'm gonna counteract that by removing a laser marker, if you could. So I'm back to hitting on twos. Okay, four hits at AP one. I'm choosing the Technomancer as the model that I'm going after, so I think you would use his defense. Yep. All right, so AP one, so saving on fours. All right, two wounds. Uh, two wounds, they regen on a four up. I, yeah. Nope, okay, they still got through. <laughs> Wreath Shard moved up like an inch and now is trying to cast Meteor Bots on him. Let's have it. Psychic three, right? Yep, Psychic yeah. three, six up. Oh nope. no. <laughs> I think this is a reversal of last week. Yep. All right. Yeah, here's what we're gonna do. This spotting laser squad is going to put all five lasers on him. Fours. I've got three markers on him now. Three lasers drawing a bead. All right, I think, have you activated all your units? Uh, no, I have one left. One left, ah oh, yes, the bot swarms. Yes. Okay. So you took your bot swarms, moved them at the double uh, up to here, okay. Uh, now that's all your units, right? For this yes. turn, so let's see, what am I gonna do first? This unit is gonna fire upon the spider. Now, checking line of sight, uh, this guy right here is can only see about half that model or less, so he will uh, suffer cover. The rest of them, good to go. So go ahead and remove both markers. This unit is gonna use both to get plus two to their hit rolls. First, we'll do the guy that's in cover. He has a Pulse Rifle, one dice, but it's two because of the, the uh, Grunt Squad Captain, and they did not move this turn, so they get Volley Fire. So the first, the guy with cover, uh, he'd be hitting on, he would be hitting on fives with the two markers, he's hitting on threes, but you're in cover, so I'm hitting on fours. Both of those are hits. This is AP1 on the Spider Walker. Save on threes. Okay. One save, one wound, regen. Does not regen. Here's the other 18 dice. The Grunt Squad Captain himself doesn't have this weapon. He's out of range, so all he's doing is conferring his ability. Cocked dice, saving on threes. Four wounds, regen. One regen, three more wounds through. All right, that's a total of four of them done. What's his uh, toughness? 12? 12. Okay, so we're not down to half, but some progress. All right, so he's down to eight wounds left. We will now move on to this right here. The big guy is going to, let's see, he's in cover, so I'm at minus one to hit. The big guy's hitting on four, so now it's on fives. If I use all three markers, then I'm hitting on twos, exactly. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and have remove all three. I could save some of those markers if I wanted to fire with this guy, but I wanna, I wanna maximize my chances of success with him. So let's start unloading everything into that. Everything is going to be hitting on two, when a two shows on the dice. He does move up six inches into the difficult terrain, but now I'm within 18 inches. First we're going to do the heavy pulse cannon then. It's two dice. Okay, those both hit. These are blast six. Twelve dice to save. Armor piercing four. Okay, these are saving on sixes. Then you'll have regen after that. Two saves, 10 regens to make. Eight of them get through. All right, he started with 12, so he's down to four, right? All right, let's move on to the rest of the rainbow. Twin frag pod, two dice, hitting on twos. Oh, a miss, all right. This is blast six, no armor piercing. Ooh, two ones, 
All right, regen those. Nope. No. All right, two more wounds. We're almost there. Lastly, cluster rockets. 14 dice, AP one, but nothing else. Okay, I need these saves at armor piercing one. Oh boy. Oh boy, that doesn't look good. Six through, yeah. trying to regen six of them. You need to save. Oh boy. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. Oh, oh, all right. Three wounds get through. That's enough to kill him. Goodbye, Nanobot Race Shark. out. And that was your leader, so I get a victory point. The score is now one to one. Coming over to this side of the table, this renegade group uh, spotter squad is gonna fire everything into there. They hit on fives, but at sixes because you're in cover, so it won't do much. But the two that have pulse carbines are out of range. The three rail rifles will fire in. Hitting on fives, but it's gonna be sixes because you're in cover. Nope, nothing. Then the battle suit captain moved up his six inches to claim this marker and he's gonna unload everything into this group which is 17 inches away. So everything is within range. Let's start with the frag pod. We're gonna fire the fusion carbine first. So here we go. This is gonna hit on a four and it does. That is armor piercing four. No, and this is deadly six. So read the six wounds going onto that technomancer to try and regen fours. Ah, oh, three failures. Okay, so, he's gone. so he is gone. Now, firing order, that was deliberate. Now that he's gone, now I will fire the other weapons. The frag pod first, one dice. That's a hit, blast six, no armor piercing. Two failures, they regen. Now it's on fives because the technomancer's gone. One regen, one dead. All right, killed one, take that. And finally, both rapid burst cannons coming in. They're identical, so I'm gonna roll them all at once. 16 dice, hitting on fours, saving on threes. Okay, three of them get through, and regen. Okay, two more die. We will take that. This unit here moved up to six inches, so they won't get volley fire this turn, but that's all right. They are now all within range of the bot swarms, and they can clearly see them, so they're gonna fire. 10 dice, these are hitting on fives. Two hits, armor piercing one on the bot swarms. One save, regen. one wound, regen. Four, does not. Four, okay. One wound, they have three each. Yep. Yeah. And finally, the heavy battle suit, stepping a full six inches forward, drawing line of sight and range for everything on the bot swarm. So he will unload into them. Let's begin with homing missiles, hitting on a four. Does not hit. Missile drone, you know, the missile drone will fire next. One hit, saving on a six, does not. Regen. Does regen, okay. Twin heavy rail rifle, two dice, one hits. AP four. Save it on six. No, nope, that's regen. deadly six. Oh. So one one regen, five more to go. So that kills one model. Twin smart missiles, eight dice, hitting on fours. Armor piercing one. Okay, three of them. Regen. No. No regen, so I killed another one. Killed two models, they're still above half, nothing is required. And now everything has been activated, so that's the bottom of turn one. Plenty of carnage. I like it. I like it. Okay, so let's go check what objectives were met. Was anything met? Neither of us got anything, so normally we would discard the ones we've achieved. We get to discard up to one other one that we want to. Do you want to discard anything? I'm going to discard Intimidate, because you're never going to fail morale tests. And I'll draw a new one. Purify. Destroy an enemy model that has psychic. Darn it, I've already done that. <laughs> okay, so I won't get a point for that. Ugh. And, and then you? I will remove to ensure anything within six inches. Uh, I don't foresee that happening with yeah. your main unit directly in the center. All right, so you discarded outmaneuver and you've got show no mercy. Win a melee by three or more wounds. Got it. I think that's what they're going to be doing. Yes. So let's do some ambushing. Let's roll to see who's gonna ambush first. Two, 
and a three. So you'll go first. Ambushing is done. The Death Fortress came down right in the middle. Uh, we rolled off. You went first, so that thing is right there. In response, what I'm worried about is you're going to move that four inches. Then you're just outside of five away, so you're going to unload those guardians and charge in here to my leader or the big dude. I don't like that, so in response, I ambushed in this line of battle suits so that if you try and do that, I will, I will immediately respond by shuffling to the left and these boys will be sacrificial lambs. Hold off that charge one round. I am leaving the other battle suit captain out. I want him as an option for late in the game. If I suddenly need to get a marker, I'll be able to drop him in and go get it, or at least contest it. So, those guys are still loaded on the transport. They're coming in this turn, I assume. And let's go to the top of two. Who finished activating first last round? It was you. So you get to go first this round. So a uh, real quick learning moment here before you fire all your guns. I just realized a lot of my units have good shot, which means that they hit on fours instead of fives. So I don't know how many shots I failed to, whatever. Learning moment, that's my fault. I should know my list. I'm learning Tau. Death Fortress, everything into the battle suits. All right, what's first? Heavy antimatter cannon, one dice. Hitting on. Hitting on three. Okay. Hit. Three. AP three, saving on a five. It saves. 12 dice, all four Gauss rifles, or whatever they're called, coming in. Looking for threes. Armor piercing one, so I'm saving on threes. So another learning moment, that weapon, those weapons have rending, but we just checked the tape. You did not roll any sixes, so it didn't matter. Now, uh, where were we? The shield drone, regenerating. One regen, two wounds get through. As predicted, so they shuffled over six inches because I do still want to fire. It would be foolish not to. I could afford a few of them slipping through here, no big deal. So all three of them are identically equipped, so I'm going to roll three at a time. First up is the... Frag pods. These will all be hitting on fours. So that's one hit. Twos. Okay, one gets through. Regenning. It does not. Alright, one wound. Missile pods, two dice each. Four hits. Armor piercing two, nothing else special. Throw them on fours. One gets through. One gets through. Okay, another wound. Here we go, the fusion carbines, one dice each. Oh no, I need that. All right, uh, that's one hit. Armor piercing, four. Same on six. Deadly six. Okay, two regen, uh, three regens, three, regen. three more through. So how many total? Five wounds total. That's not nothing. All right, good job. So, yeah, I, I got up at 4 a.m. today, so I've kind of been slow. So earlier, I was talking about the whole charge thing. Forgot about these guys. You had to slide that back, remember, when you ambushed it in? So that was further than 9 inches from him. So that wasn't a concern anyway. But I still want to do this. It's, it's still fine. But the point is, when they disembark, they can't move more than 6 inches. You're greater than 6 away, so they can't charge him. But... You could charge them, so basically I may have given you a target anyway to charge. <laughs> Oops. Guardians popped out. They are charging because they're within six inches of these guys, so they can. I now have to move by up to three inches to get into base contact to the extent possible, so he does. And he's out of combat, but now he gets to be in. All right, let's dance the spears. So hyper swords, right? Two dice each? Yep. Okay. Let's Two have it. Each. Hit on threes. Okay. Tracking natural sixes because of rending. Save on sixes because of rending. One save, three wounds. So that kills him. Two more on him. He's got one left. Now I have to save these. What's the armor piercing? AP one. Okay. Saving on threes. One wound get. One wound gets through. And that, he had one left, right? Yep. Okay, so two models are now down. Oh, uh, oh re regen. regen. Regen, thank you. All right, you've killed two models. Punching back, suit fists, two dice hitting on fours. Both hit, no armor piercing. Three. 
one go through? One goes through regen. Nope. No. All right. So I killed one. You caused more wounds, so I have to take a morale test on a four. It's a one. I failed morale. Mm. So this guy routes. You achieved, you're gonna achieve one of those objectives, right? Yep. Yeah, and you get to move this unit by up to three inches. Nicely done. Spotting lasers, three of them onto that, two of them onto that. We'll do the three first onto the Death Fortress. Yep. Okay, two lasers on the Death Fortress, and then we have the two for the spider, fours, one laser on the spider. All right, that's it for them, your turn. Yeah, the spider walker shifted over. I thought I scared him off, but really, he was looking downrange here. It so happens that after moving nine inches, he is 35 inches away from him. Perfect for that heavy, what is it, Gauss cannon? Heavy Gauss cannon. Okay, so let's have it. Hitting on a three. It does, armor piercing? Armor piercing, four. All right, saving on a six. Doesn't save, deadly, deadly six. six. Shield drone, kick in shield drone. Shield drone does not kick in. He gets utterly vaporized. But at least I started the round with control of that marker. Not that it matters. <laughs> Heavy battle suit fell back exactly six inches and is now unloading everything on the death fortress. So he's going to have fours, but I'd like to use both of those marker lasers. And so now I'm going to be hitting everything on twos. Thank you kindly. First up. Homing missiles, two dice, hitting on twos. Two hits, AP three, hitting on fives. No, deadly three each, regening on fives. Okay, one regen. So five wounds get through. Twin heavy rail rifle, no ones, no ones. Nope, no ones. These, this is armor piercing, four. Sixes. Sixes. Nope, deadly six each, trying to regen 12. Seven more, is that enough? Nope, one wound left. Next up, the missile drone. Two dice. Oh no, okay, one hit. Armor piercing two. Nothing else. No. Nope. Regen? Nope. All right, so that's enough? Yep. Okay, the twin smart missiles go to waste. This thing explodes. And let's look up what exactly what happens with the transport. If a unit is inside when it's destroyed, then it takes a dangerous terrain test, is immediately pinned, and surviving models must be placed within six inches of the transport before it's removed. So here they are, they're within six inches before removing it. Models moving across dangerous terrain or activate it, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I think we have to care about the Technomancer's role because this is done on a per model basis. At least that's how I read it. All right, so the Technomancer failed, so he's got one wound on him. Now you do the other 10 dice. So there's the other 10, they didn't fail any. So the Technomancer failed his, he's got one wound, but he can take three. Now, earlier we talked about how the Technomancer had to take the wounds because he had some on him, right? I don't think that that was actually correct, and I didn't realize it until I was reading because of this dangerous terrain test, but here's the real rule for tough. It says, must take that many wounds before being killed, Models with tough that joins units without it are removed last when the unit takes wounds. And then this next sentence is what I think I misunderstood. It says, note that you must put all wounds on a single tough model before putting them on the next tough model. There are no other ones in that unit. It's the only unit with, uh, model with tough. So I think over here you were allowed to not put it on that guy. He so, possibly could have still survived. Yeah, so let's put him back and take two soldiers away, and uh, that'll kind of make up for my <laughs> failing to use good shot. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, and then now we know over here, um, that guy can be removed last, so he's gonna stick around. He doesn't like my snipers. We check line of sight, it's totally good. Objective markers are invisible for purposes of line of sight. So you've got 24 inches, you got five of them, right? Five of them shooting up, looking for natural sixes because of flux. Hitting on fours because of cover? Yep. Okay. So two go through. Two go through, saving on sixes. They don't. Two of them die. Spotter squad hopped up a few minute, uh, inches, and now they're going to fire some lasers. I'm thinking 
two of them down there and three of them over here. We'll do the three over here first. Okay, I got one laser on them. And then down there, two lasers. Got two lasers on this unit here. Your turn. Bot swarms moving up, uh, ch uh, so they're rushing, right? Moving at the double? Yeah. Okay. And that's all your units, right? So the rest of it's gonna be me running roughshod. All right, what are we gonna do first? So these guys can move up. One could be placed here and see him, but the other two couldn't. That's quite frustrating. So I'm thinking it might be wiser to pull them back, get them hidden so that I have them next round. Those, those lights persist after all. Um, let's skip that for now. Let's come on over to here. These guys will unload into them. This time I'm going to remember good shot. So I'm hitting on fours and then let's remove that laser. So they're hitting on threes, but they have stealth. So I'm hitting on fours again, right? Yes. Okay, have we stacked all that up right? Okay, so these are hitting on fours. Volley fire is in effect because they did not move. So the grunt captain giving them uh, volley fire. Here we go, hitting on fours. Okay, those are the hits. Armor piercing one. Two get through, regen. No regen. All right, kill two of them. And then the uh, grunt captain himself is actually within range. And this is gonna be three dice. He does not have good shot, which I find kind of interesting. Oh, but his natural quality is a four up. So uh, four, stealth becomes fives, laser makes it a four again. Oh, three hits. Being on threes. Okay, two of them get through, regens. One regen, one not. Killed another one. Okay, that I think was actually overproduction, so not too bad. Shifting over here for a moment to this renegade squad. They're gonna shoot over there once again. They're not moving, so once again, it's just the rail rifles. They have good shot, so I'm hitting on fours, but you're in cover, so I'm hitting on fives. One hit, saving Seven on six. six. Okay. Regen. Regen six. You're not gonna make it. Just take them off. <laughs> well, you're regening on fours. Okay, there we go. So that kills one soldier. I'm gonna uh, set a pick, as the basketball kids would say. I'm gonna set a pick. So he's just gonna slide over here a few inches. No biggie. And now he's gonna fire at some combination of these guys and the spider walker. Gotta think about it. The lasers have all been used up on this. That's done, that's removed when the unit fires. So they used up the lasers. I'm, I'm, su I'm, su I'm hitting on fives with them. Down there, uh, he's got cover. I definitely can't see at least half that model. I can see a couple limbs. So that thing would have cover. Now, I feel comfortable about the ability to absorb that. That's, those guys are scrubs. So we are unloading everything into the spider. Gonna remove the spotting laser. I have one on there. That will counteract the penalty for cover. So I'm back to my natural, which is a four up. So first we're gonna do the cluster rockets. 14 dice. So three hits with the cluster rockets. This is AP one, please. Two go through, regen. One regen, goes one goes, all right, so he's down to what? Down to seven. Heavy pulse cannon. Now let's do that last. Let's do the twin frag pod next. Uh, we're not in range of the twin frag pod, darn it. Okay, so here we go, heavy pulse cannon, two dice. One hit. This is armor piercing four. Uh, blast six. Oh, all right, two saves. And the other four you're gonna regen. Okay, two regens, two more through. Okay, what's he down to? Down to five, so let's have a morale check, please. Oh, all right, <laughs> so it passed morale, and he is done. Who else do I have left? I have this unit here to do something with, and that's it. Thank you, yeah, so I forgot that frag pod. Are you, are you, you're a gentleman, you just reminded me. So I could have, I didn't declare it, but Seabass is gonna let me go back, so. The frag pod. Well, you had declared you were going to split. Yeah, twin. Okay, so twin frag pod. This might as well go into those guys. Two dice, and this is going to be hitting on fours, but fives because of stealth. Okay. One hit, blast six, no armor piercing. So, piece of cake. Oh, 
Oh, alright, two get through. Oh, alright, killed two more. That was surprisingly effective. What a good sport. What a guy. Look at him. A token morale check, just don't roll a one. Good. This grunt squad moved up a full six inches to here to block, and so now they can't charge up. Now the question is, fire down upon them or over at those guys, and I think, yeah, so we can see at least half that unit, so there won't be cover. I think we're gonna fire over there. Now we did move, so there'll be no um, volley fire this turn. It's just 10 dice on these pulse rifles, and they are good shots, so they're hitting on fours. Threes. One fails, regen on a four, it regens. Okay, nothing doing. And I believe that is everything. Yes, that is all the units for round two. More carnage, I love it, good stuff. I'm glad we got rid of that. Okay, let's see, have we achieved anything? Okay, let's look at yours. Enemy unit fails a morale test. I did, my battle suits lost and they got routed. So you'll get a point there. Win a melee by three or more wounds. You did, you did four wounds to those battle suits and I did one if memory serves. And hold two, you don't have that. So you've got two victory points, go ahead and get rid of those. Discard this one if you want to and then draw up back up to three. Meanwhile, for me, do I control marker two? Not yet, I'm on my way. Model with Psychic, no, I'm gonna discard this because you have none left. And Infiltrate, I don't have anything in your deployment zone, so I didn't achieve anything. My new one is Assassinate, destroy one hero enemy model. All right, I like that. I will discard that. You're discarding, so you're gonna get three brand new objectives. Let's see what they are. Control objective marker one. All right, seize marker one. Lay them low, destroy a unit. All right, simple enough. And successfully cast or deny one second. Yeah, you can't do that. Yeah. So, you're trying to kill a unit and you're trying to control one. Marker one, where is that? It's right here, I've got it. Yep. So, that's it. And we're gonna go to the top of round three and you will get to activate first. Now at the top of three, the question is, do I wanna ambush in my last battle suit, Captain? I don't want to yet. I'm not gonna do it until that thing is gone. Also, it's round three, so I'm gonna save that thing in case I need to get a marker over there or whatever. We also might have a turn five, so I'm not dropping him in. We're going to the top of round three, and you will go first. Things may look grim, you don't have a lot of models, but they are very hardy. With that four up regen, also you're in the lead, three to one. So, let's do it. Okay, hey, Guardian's coming in, just push him up an inch or so to make base contact and you're gonna try and carve this guy up. Eight dice hitting on threes with the hyper swords. One rend, so that's gonna save on a six. It doesn't, and then four normal ones at AP one. So these are saving on threes. One gets through, so that's two wounds done. He will now stomp on fours. Two stomps at AP two. One gets through. One gets through, regen. Nope. Does not. Okay, so that's one wound. So I caused one and you caused two? Yes. But he has fear, so I'm gonna add D3 to the wounds I caused. Three! Alright, so I effectively caused four wounds, and that means you take the morale test, not me. Yeah, okay, you just don't roll a one. Three. Okay, okay, you're good. You almost got away with it. Very sneaky. Look at these guys that I had forgotten about, but they are 11 and a half inches away from my leader. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna activate him next. We're gonna move him out of the way and then fire him at somebody. So he just hopped back a couple inches to be out of their charge range. He can see two of them, which is half the unit, so he's gonna fire at them. It's the only thing he can see right now, so he might as well. But it will be at cover because half that unit is obscured. Missile drone first. Two dice. Hitting on fours, but it's fives because of cover. One hit. AP two. Saves. Homing missiles. Miss. Twin Heavy Rail Rifle. Two hits. AP four each. Doesn't matter because they're saving on sixes. Okay. Deadly six each. Here's the first Deadly Six regening. Okay. One model is dead. 
wound two on wounds on another model. So I only killed one model. Uh, now there's, what else do I have left? The twin smart missiles. Hitting on fives. On six. Okay. Regen. Okay, so killed another model. And uh, let's do a quick morale check if you would. Yep. Morale fails. All right, so they're at least pinned. Good. Good job. Coming over here to this minor skirmish, checking for natural sixes for flux. So saving on sixes, neither. Two of them die. Laser squad, all five of them on the spider, looking for fours. Three lasers on the spider. They're done, back to you. That spider walker, moving him over nine inches to duck behind those crags. I think I'm gonna be sporting here. Uh, I'm gonna say that half that model is obscured. So right now he would enjoy cover from this, but I would imagine from his viewpoint, you can see the whole model. So there'd be no cover for the spider walker shooting over here. I think that seems reasonable, do you? I will take it. Okay, all right. So let's fire some weapons. Firing from here to here? Yes. All right, hitting out of three. That'll work. Okay. That's uh, AP4. Okay, saving on a six. It does not. Deadly six. Okay, so I'm gonna take six wounds away. Very good. You did something. You got something. All right. Yes, well, we drew attention. He will fire right back. Now he's hitting on fours, but fives because of cover. But I'm gonna remove all three of those markers, if you would. So fives becomes twos. So everything he fires is gonna be hitting on twos. Let's just go ahead and start with the heavy pulse cannon. Oh no. <laughs> One hit, and this is blast six, AP four. Nope, nope, regenning those. Two, Two of them. All right, four damage gets through. Down to one. He's down to one. Uh, next we will fire the, well all that's left is the cluster rockets because the frag pot again is going down into there. Cluster rockets hitting on twos. Pretty good, all right, four of them got through. Can he regen four wounds and withstand the barrage from this gunboat? No, he can't. All right, kaboom and good riddance, spider walker. And then the twin frag pod, which is firing down into here on fours. Two hits, last six. No armor piercing, 12 saves, holding their shields up, saving on twos. So regen those. One regen, two more die. Uh, morale test, just don't roll a one. It's not, okay. All right, the Titan is done. Over yonder, you de-pinned this unit to burn their activation. Now it's back to me. Now, here's where I could get greedy because I need that marker for a point. I could rush out there in a death alley, but I'm gonna get absolutely torn apart later. And I need these shots. I, hmm, hmm. You know what? I'm gonna go for it. It's not about killing stuff, it's about getting the points. They are gonna move at the double to go out and claim marker two. So that is done, and I formed a bubble, so this guy can't double back to contest, nor can they uh, in the future. In case I had, if I happen to pull, hold marker two, then I will start in the round with it. You never know. You de-pinned these guys. I'm gonna put lasers on them with this spotter squad. So five dice, and I'm looking for fours. Uh, two more lasers on that group. This grunt squad here did not move, so they will enjoy volley fire. They're gonna fire at that unit. They're normally hitting on fours because of good shot, but I would like to bring that down to two, so please remove two lasers from them. And we're gonna roll uh, 20 dice, and so we're looking for twos. Try to regen these on four up, thanks to the Technomancer. Okay, all of that and three of them died. These guys are just gonna hop around here, about six inches. The spotter squad firing their three rail rifles downrange over there. 
Hitting on fours because a good shot, but fives because you're in cover. None of them, uh, one hit at armor piercing four. Saving on a six. Doesn't, deadly three. No, that's good, that's that's a regen. Two more regens to make. Okay, and we need a morale check because you're at less than half. Morale's good, okay, that's it for them. And that is everybody. So again, it's looking grim for the robots. They've had some bad fortune tonight. But, uh, you know, you're up in the score right now. And even if I table you, it's still possible to win if you have more victory points than me. So let's go see what we achieved. You didn't cast a spell. Did you destroy an enemy unit? Not yet. No. Do you have marker one? No. Uh, I have marker two, so I'm going to get a point for that. Uh, I have not destroyed a hero this turn, and I don't have anything in the enemy's deployment zone. So I get one point. I will not discard anything. I'm going to draw a new one. Ah, lay them low. Destroy an enemy unit. Are you going to discard? Psychic one, and you're gonna draw, and your new objective is marker four. control marker four, which is right here, right here on the side of the table. Okay, that's marker four. I have an ambusher. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And I believe I will drop him in here to claim this marker, or at least contest it. So hang on, we actually. Uh, we haven't done anything yet. I'm rethinking if that's really where I want to ambush. Because here's the thing. Uh, with the alternate victory condition, right, at the end of the game, if you have at least a unit in the deployment zone, you get a point. Also, I have infiltrate. So just by putting him over there and surviving, I'm gonna get two victory points, rather than deny you one. So the mathematically, what I should do is put them over there. So that is what I'm gonna do instead. Okay, actually I put them over here because there's no enemy units over there, so it's safest. You're first to activate. Well, I'm implementing a sudden house rule here. I'm gonna say, if you wanna split up their guns, you can. Even though they're the same type. Let's just be real here. I, I've always liked house ruling that way anyway. In the past we've played that without even realizing it. So, you can split up their fire however you want among line of sight. So, you don't have to burn them all just to kill these three if you don't want to. So, I'll leave it to you from there. So you have four of these models are gonna shoot over here, and the other three plus the Technomancer are shooting up into here. Let's do them first. All right, so I'll do the three. So I'll sit on fours. Two hits. AP one. P one, saving on fives. Nope, two of them dead. All right, now let's do the Technomancer. All right, so hitting on fours. Hitting on fours. Two of them, two. all right. AP1, one, saving on fives. One failed, so that goes through, and he is dead. Perfect. Now you got, how many were left? Four of them shooting Four. over here. Okay. So hitting on threes. Good. Saving on fives. Three of them get through, regening on fives because of the shield drone. One regens, two of them die. This is really interesting. Let's consider this. This guy over here, if the game ends at the end of turn four, which is this turn, I'm going to get a point for him being there, plus for infiltrate. That's So I'm going to be at four. You're currently at three, but you're about to be at four because you killed an enemy unit. That puts it at a tie game. And well, and if I get this unit over without anything, and we'll put yes. it at five. Once you get over there, you're going to have five points. So you'll be five and I'll be four, which means i got to find another point somewhere before the end of this round just to tie. This is why we use objective cards. So tactics, this is where it comes into play. I can't see him right now with this guy, but once they go over there to claim it, I should be able to move him over and at least fire some stuff over there. We'll see what happens. Plus, these both have indirect weapons, which are kind of rare, but it means that these guys on the other side here can be shot at. They definitely can be. Plus, I got lasers on them, so that's gonna counter the indirect penalty. Before I do anything, though, the thing to do is to get these spotter squads lasers out to help myself with whatever it is. So this spotter squad, all lasers down here, looking for fours. Two more lasers on this group, bringing it to four lasers. I like it, kamikaze. So they got nothing else to do. They're gonna charge on in here and start chewing these guys up. Okay, and then I gotta move by up to three inches to make base contact if I can. 
Keep track of natural sixes for rending, because that'll bypass the shield drone. We're hitting on sixes anyway. One six. All right, and I'm saving on a six. And I don't, and we ignore the shield drone because it's rending, so one of these guys is dead. I have one, two, three, four, five, six guys within range to fight. Uh, and one of them is the captain, right there. So we'll do him first on a four. That's a miss. These are hitting on fives. None of them. Okay. So you cause more wounds. I got to take a morale check. Four is good for the use the highest with when there's a hero you use his. So that's a four. Spotter squad. All five lasers onto those guys. Three lasers. Single guardian left. Coming up to charge the assassins here. Right? Yep. Okay. Two attacks. Two attacks. Hitting on threes. Very good. One, One hit. Saving uh, on a six. And it's oh. a rendering. Rending. Rending. Okay, it doesn't matter. Saving on a six. Doesn't. So that kills one. All right. Punching back on fives. Two of them with no armor piercing. Both save. Good. You did more wounds, so I'm going to take a morale check. This needs to be a five. And it is. All right. You know, while we're over here, they're going to just fire right into his face with their sniper rifles. So here we go. Two dice. And these are hitting on twos. Oh, wow. Okay. One hit. No uh, armor piercing. One. Okay. Regen. Oh. Oh, no. Look at that. Somehow it gets through and kills him. Well, they'll write stories of you, friend. Goodbye. That's one unit down. Now, if I destroy three or more enemy units, I get D3 victory points. So that was one unit. What else can I kill? That would be a second unit. And then I just got to do either this one or this one. Problem is, these guys are tucked in here real nicely. So I don't think I can weasel around with the big guy. We're gonna have to see. It's your turn. I'll move the double to go and claim that marker. Marker number four. Let's see what I'm gonna do. Okay, heavy suit has moved over six inches and is gonna fire everything at them except for Twin smart missiles, because they only have a range of 30 and he's 32 inches away. But the twin smart missiles are indirect, so we're going to fire those at this group over here. So I'm hitting on fours, but because of the indirect, I'm hitting on fives. But I would like to hit on twos, so if you could please remove three lasers. Hitting on twos. Regening on fours for this unit. Okay, killed two soldiers over here. As for everything else, I need to carefully pick the order here because I want to take that Technomancer down last. I need to do multiple wounds to him. Just realizing I should have used that spotter squad to put lasers on them. So I'm hitting on fours here, shooting long downrange. Uh, this is the missile pod on the missile drone. One hit, AP two, fours. Oh, four. Another soldier dies. Homing missiles hitting on four. Hits, AP three, five. Nope, deadly three. Okay, that kills another soldier. This could do it. This could be enough to do it. The twin heavy rail rifle, two dice hitting on fours. The first one hits. The second one, this is it, this is it. Misses, oh, all right. AP four, same amount six. Saves, wow. Okay, still need a morale check. So. <laughs> all right, that's fine, that's okay, we're not done. We are not done. Over here, this unit did not move, so they will enjoy volley fire. Firing down there, they have good shot at a four up. I'd like to remove two lasers to make this hitting on twos. Here we go. All right, armor piercing one for those. 
three saves. The rest need to regen on a five up. Five get through, that is just enough to do it. That's a second unit down. I just gotta kill one more unit. One more unit. Surge Titan, six inches back. Now has perfect line of sight on this unit down here. Is gonna fire the cluster rockets and the heavy pulse cannon at it. And the twin frag pod will be fired at these guys. First up, the cluster rockets over here. Hitting on fours. Regenning on fours. Oh, only one gets through, so one soldier dead. That leaves just the Technomancer. Yep. And now we have the big gun. Two dice hitting on fours. Both hit, both are blast six. And these are armor piercing four. Saving on sixes. Okay, now regenning those on a four up. Definitely. All right. So he goes down. That's a third unit killed and a hero for that matter. Take a look at where we're at. Lay them low. I've destroyed three units. Oh, but only one. Oh, all, all that work for one point. Destroy a hero model. I got that. And have a, a unit within the enemy's deployment zone. I do. Him right there. So I've got three points there. For you, you did kill a unit, so that's uh, one more point for you. So your total is four, my total is five. All right, so now we roll, and on a four up, there is a turn five. Ready? It's a one. So that is game. At the end of the game, I am in your deployment zone, so I get another point. So that ends six to four in my favor, correct? Okay, excellent game. That was fun. <laughs> A lot of carnage. So I think you need to be getting these guys in range and shooting with them a lot quicker. Yeah. Yeah. Tau are fun to play. You've really got to think ahead. You got to use those spotting lasers. Uh, you got to remember about good shot. But uh, they play, they feel really different from the other armies that I've played so far in Grim Dark Future. And uh, I like them, they're fun. What are your thoughts on robots? This is your first time playing them, right? Yeah, first time playing with them. Uh, pretty good. I just gotta get a little better handle for how they play. Yeah. Mine is more of a melee based type than. Yeah. And the, the rules have been refined so much over the past year. So much has changed, and so that's why we uh, seem to be kind of sloppy tonight. But um, again, all of them for the better, so. Well, I guess that's about it. The Tau Coalition will claim the rare minerals on this planet, and that's about it. So we're going to say good night. Yeah. Good night. All right. Good game. And uh, I am Wylock. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time. Bye.